Tigray province, a wild place, racked by war, scorched by drought, visited by famine. Makele, a village swamped by 85,000 starving people, food for less than a third that number. The Red Cross have picked out 500 mothers and children out of the thousands and are treating them in an improvised shelter. It's run by an Anglo-Swiss nurse from Hertfordshire. The loneliness of her position is one shattering image in this vast desert, the despair of the 10,000 people. And so at random she picks 300. I mean, most of the people holding up their babies hoping that they'll be picked. And the 300 who are picked are ashamed of being picked. And they're taken behind this waist-high wall where this woman gives them butter oil because that's all there is to eat. And they turn their backs in shame on the ones who had in effect been condemned to die, the other 9,700. And they have no antipathy in their expression, just this amazing dignity and resignation. And I presume those people died. After I saw the TV broadcast, I called Paula, who was working up at the Tube in um, Newcastle. I knew Midge was up there. Midge, you're from Ultrafox, who's a mate of mine. I said, did you see that thing on TV? You know, and he said, yeah. And I said, well, I want to make a record. And he said, oh, that's a good idea. Then I rang Sting, and he just said straight away, I'm in. I rang Simon Le Bon, and uh, he said, brilliant. And on the way home, uh, I passed by this antique shop. I was looking in, there was Gary Kemp from Spandau Ballet pointing at something to the owner. So I rushed in and said something to him, and he said, well, wait till we're back from Japan, because we want to do it. Hello, George. Are you awake? Do you want me to call you back? I remember ringing boy George in hour. New York, and he was still in bed, and I said, get on a Concord and All right, don't go out. get over. And he did. It's half ten, you lazy f***. Want to do that, yeah? OK. I'm a papa. I'm a pop star. of the number one, this one. Do They Know It's Christmas entered the British charts at number one, topped the charts in 12 other countries, and made a staggering eight million pounds. This encouraged other musicians at home and abroad, and by the summer of 85, more than 20 similar records have been made. We Are The World was number one in 16 countries and sold eight million copies. Faced with the apparent indifference of Western governments and with a growing awareness of the scale of the long-term needs of Africa, Band-Aid was determined to raise a much larger amount of money. You can be absolutely sure that on the day you die, there'll be somebody alive in Africa because one day you bought a record or a book or watched a pop concert. And that, at one, is a compliment and a triumph. And on the other hand, it's the ultimate indictment of us all.
It's 12 noon in London, 7 a.m. in Philadelphia, and around the world, it's time for Live Aid. Wembley welcomes their Royal Highnesses, the Prince and Princess of Wales. The 16 hours of Live Aid, would you welcome Status Quo? And here now is the band that's led by the man who was the Spock, Bob Geldof and the Boomtown Rat. Down, 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 shh. 
shoot it all down Back. The sky is burning 
Ross and Dave. How are you? I want you to help me sing this old Northern English folk song. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. There's nothing you can sing that can't be sung. Nothing you can say, but you can learn how to play the game. It's easy. All you need is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. love. And love is all you need.
could be king And you You could be my queen For nothing Could drive them away Now we could beat them Just for one day We could be heroes Just for one day And I Well I would say I could swim Like dolphins Like dolphins can swim Cause we're lovers And that's the fact Cause we're lovers of the televisions on earth.
the wife does say Before she sleeps in the sand How many times Does the cannonball fly Before they fall out of them The answer my friend Is blowing in the wind The answer is blowing Do it with two billion people watching us. 
So let's cock it up together. Goodbye, Philadelphia. Goodbye, America. We hope you have a good rest of the day. David's going to start this. Ready, guys? <laughs>